Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. I am Jung Lo. Right next to me, we have Johnny. Um, second time fighting for the amateur 145-pound title. Johnny, let's introduce you once again to all the fight fans. Who you are, where are you coming from, what got you into fighting? Uh, so my name is Jonathan Gonzalez. I'm born here in SF. San Francisco. San Francisco. Yes. <laughs> and uh, I train uh, outlaw jiu-jitsu. That was pretty good. Pretty good under uh, Professor Rano. Now, uh, Jonathan, you prefer Jonathan or Johnny? Johnny. 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 Yeah. Johnny, how long have you been training MMA? Uh, I've been training, I'd say, about almost two years. Yeah. Two years now. And yeah. you fight pretty consistent. Yeah. And you already got almost 10 amateur fights under your belt. Yeah. Uh, how old are you, Johnny? Uh, 26. 26. In the perfect world, how much longer you want to keep doing this before you turn pro? Uh, probably want to be pro by the end of the year. By the end of the year. Yeah. So this might be, uh, you think might be the last amateur fight? June 8th? Might be, yeah. Might be? Yeah. And we'll see, it, we'll it, see how everything turns out. Mm, this is pretty, pretty good now. Um, mm -hmm. Have you um, do a little bit of homework on your opponent? Uh, I just saw he, he's a big wrestler. Yeah, um, he's not that big. Size-wise, I think you guys are pretty identical. Yeah. Um, he's just a young kid, 20 years old. A um, okay. uh, high school wrestling um, from Raul Castillo BJJ mm -hmm. uh, in uh, Half Moon Bay. Uh, you are hometown favorite, represent San Francisco. Obviously, you're born and raised here. Yeah. Um, when you're watching him fight, what do you think of that kid? Oh, he's good. He's good. Looks like he has power. He's very uh, energetic. What do you... Now, this is also the first time he's ever going to fight a three, three-minute round with no shin guards. Mm -hmm. Because the last three fights, he's pretty much fighting somebody either, you know, under three fights, so they have to fight three, two-minute round with the shin guards. Um, so I haven't seen him fight a three, three minute round. Let's see how the cardio difference. Yeah. What What do you think? Like, I mean, I know you passed that point now. When you first start doing amateur, you fight three, two minute round. Times go by fast, you know? Yeah. And then when you add another minute, nah, it's not much different. What do you think? Is it pretty different, isn't it? Uh, it actually is a, like, it's pretty big, big difference. Yes, yeah, yes. It gives, you, it gives you more time, you know, to either, to either study him or to, to figure to things see, out. To, yeah, to see if, you know, he has the cardio to keep going. Yeah, because a lot of people are like, oh, three, two minute round, three, three, they're only one minute different. Actually, mm -hmm. quite a big difference. I see a lot of people, because that extra minute in the cage just feel like your extra hour. <laughs> yeah. uh, when you're watching him fight, what do you think of yourself have a advantage on him? Uh, well, I see, you know, my jiu-jitsu is getting better, so I'm not, I'm not really worried about his wrestling. Mm -hmm. So I see like it's if it's gonna go to the ground, you know We're just gonna we're gonna work from there mm -hmm. But I'm gonna try to keep it a striking match, you know for all the fans. I know that's what they like to see anyway Everybody, you know, everybody, everybody. Likes to see that. Yes, so you know, I'll try to keep it up But if it goes to the ground, then you'll you'll see a submission. That's pretty awesome. Now um, Who you have uh, you're five and three now, right? Yes, five and three so you have eight amateur fights and you just capitalize it a 45 pound title belt at uh, 5150 uh, a few months ago, right? Yeah, like uh, last month. Last uh, month. Last month. Oh yeah, that's yeah, right. March. Month, yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, that's pretty pretty fast, you know. Now you're gonna fight again. So now, um, what's your game plan coming into the event? Do you think you have more experience, um, a lot more fight than the kid? Do you think that will come in playing a big factor? The experience. I think the experience will, especially because I'm used to already that three minute round. And I think since it's his first time, you know, I don't think he's gonna he's gonna be used to it. Yes, yes, that's pretty awesome, though. You know, what do you do for work, Johnny, in San Francisco? Well, I'm a mechanic, so you know, I, I fix cars. You fix cars. Yeah. Everybody need to get your car fixed. You <laughs> <laughs> and uh, which mechanic shop do you work at? I work at Octane, a Mercedes, a Mercedes Benz shop. Oh, so. Yeah. Well, I guess I'm not seeing you for sure. I don't drive a Mercedes. So it has to be Mercedes to go to your shop? Yeah. Only it's a little private Mercedes shop on 10th Street. On 10th Street? Yeah. Is it owned by Mercedes? No. It's just specialized yeah. Mercedes? Specialized in the Mercedes. Oh, wow. Yeah. You know, and it must be expensive nowadays. How much the oil change for Mercedes? Oh, well, I don't know. You know, I don't get into that. That's that's all my boss stuff. I so just, you just, I just operate. Fix it. Yeah, I just fix it. Whatever just he tells it. me to work, 
I do. Do you have to like go studying and then learn learn how to do that? Yeah. Well, I went to school for like four years as a mechanic. Oh shit! Yeah, I went to I went to Skyline. Did the whole uh, auto tech program. Wow. Yeah. So you start off right off the get go. It's not like a regular mechanic gets cheap yeah. pay. You you right off the get go. You're getting a good payday. Yeah. That's pretty awesome. Wow. Mm -hmm. That's great. You know. Well, now in the future. If you're fighting as a turning as a pro, what weight class are you gonna be in the future? Uh, we'll see how. Uh, maybe I might stay this 145, or I might come down to 135. What do you walk around weight right now? 155 right now. 155. Yeah. So you don't really cut much weight. Yeah, I don't really cut much. Yeah. But again, also <laughs> you have advantage. So I see some people they cut so much weight actually affecting their performance too yeah you know well, that, exactly like I've been getting comfortable with uh, my 145 like mm -hmm. I think that's pretty good weight you know you don't feel like I you hurting feel, you or yeah you don't feel dead I can I feel focused you know like it's good I think it's a good weight I, I think it's not more better to stick to your natural weight yes you know? oh, I believe so you know and I, I know you have a handful now you're fighting um, uh, Fernando Diaz on this upcoming fight but is there any other 145 or out there that you have eyes on for the future? Uh, not right now. Right now, I'm just focused on uh, my guy right now. That's it. Yeah. Fernando Diaz. Yeah. yeah he's a, he's a hungry him. kid. He's a hungry up and comer, you know, and it's crazy. He's three fights and all all went to distant or all finished. I forgot. He, he, he finished I, his last fight, right? I think. I think he yeah, has he one finished. went to distant and then maybe two finish it. Like something like that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so he has a three three and oh, you know, this is pretty awesome and uh I can see the hopefully uh, we'll see the undefeated fight and see he can get a first loss from you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see, right? Mm -hmm. Now um do you have any special loved one for this upcoming fight? Mm -hmm. Training partner, loved one, coaches, supporters that you wanna shout out to? Well I wanna give a shout out to, you know, all my family, my friends. My training partners at the gym, like, you know, they, they make me work. And then now your brother is starting the fighting now, right? No, uh, well, he's not my brother. He's one of my training partners at the gym. But we're so close, you know, he, he basically is like my brother. Yeah, I see him like, work out with you at the gym. So, okay, <laughs> that's, that's your teammate. That's my teammate. But what yeah. weight class does he fight at? Uh, 155 right now. 155. And yeah. he has a fight coming up uh, next week, right? No, he's uh, next... June. Oh, June, June, yeah, June. June. After, like, June, after, June, after, after our second. event. Yeah, after ours. Oh, 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 yeah, that's right. He's gonna fight at the 5150. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's awesome. You know, well, that's a, how old is that kid? He is 18. He's only 18? Only 18. Wow. You so, guys should check him out. You know, Alexander. Alexander. Got first round uh, finish in an arm bar, 19 seconds. Wow. Yeah. Is he a, a blue belt or? He's a blue belt. He's a blue belt. Yeah. Wow. 18 years of young age. That's a good uh, good start, you know? Yeah. Good start. Um, any, so you have a large family that's coming to watch you fight? Oh, yeah. Uh, well, you know, second time, uh, the last time you fought on my show for the title, you fought Andrew Campo. Andrew Campo, yeah. Yes, yes. And um, what do you think of that fight? I think, uh, you know, I've improved now. Like I, I've, uh, I've learned how to, you know, neutralize, neutralize because he was wrestling, basically the wrestling department to winning that fight. Yeah. You know? Yeah. like that, uh, the wrestling kind of like, you know, but like now I'm more comfortable. I, I, I got him. I, you know, I can get him. Do you think you might run it back with that guy someday? I think, I, I think he went pro though. I don't know. I mean, no, I don't, I don't think so. He's still amateur. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. if he goes pro then. I'd love to run it back, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That would be the fight, you know, yeah. the pro debut. Yeah. I know he was talking about, yeah. like, going pro in you know, one or two more fights. And because he's also young, too. He's only, like, a 22 yeah. years old or something. Yeah. He's like, I got some time. I'm going to take my time to, you know. Now, this weekend is um, UFC 300. Mm -hmm. Are you going to watch it? Oh, yeah. Who, which Thank fight you. is your favorite, favorite matchup? Man, they're all good. You know, Justin Gagey. Uh, Max Holloway. Yeah, but I'm, I'm more on Justin. Like, I, I'm more of a Justin fan. But Max you Holloway think? and him, like, they're both good. But I'm rooting for Justin, you know. Because uh, his size, because, you know, what what made you rooting for him to win? I like his striking. You like his striking? I like his striking. He's just, you know, he just keeps coming on you just hard. 
Yeah. That's gonna be a tough fight. Uh, a I, tough one. Yeah. I'm rooting for Max. Um, I, I think those those Polynesian, those Highlanders, man, they they got an unbreakable uh, structure. But that structure is gonna be. Spirit. Yeah. yeah. That's, the, that's the good thing about Max is that yeah. he doesn't give up. So he don't he give, give up, but you have to really put him out. Otherwise, he just keep coming. You yeah. know. Mm -hmm. Um, now, uh, uh, if people want to get a hold of you, Johnny, to get ticket watching you fight, how can people contact you? Uh, you guys can hit me up on my Instagram, Jonathan Ghost Gonzalez, or you guys can uh, just come to the gym. You know, Alba Jiu Jitsu. It's on Geneva, and just you know, we'll, we'll have the tickets in the gym. That's awesome, man. Mm -hmm. How how many days a week are you training right now? Like five days. Yeah. Five days a week, yeah. full time five training, days. full time, full force, working yep. and training. Yep. That's pretty awesome. Now, uh, if uh, Fernando Diaz watching this interview, what do you have to say to Fernando? Uh, well, you know, let's just keep it clean, keep it in the ring, and good luck. That's it. You, how are you gonna win? Well, I wanna, I wanna win by knockout. But you know, if he takes it to the ground, then submission. Yeah. Okay. Any submission is your favorite move? Uh, you know, you guys will see it. You'll see it. You'll see it when you guys get when we get there, yeah. That's pretty awesome. Now, for more information about this upcoming fight card, check out DragonHouseMMA.com. Um, follow this young man, Jonathan Gonzalez, on his IG, and then DM him. On, you have a Facebook too? No, no Facebook. Just IG. Just IG. All right. So stay tuned. Subscribe our YouTube channel. Follow us on Instagram, and then uh, please check out the DragonHouseMMA.com. We have grappling tournament. Uh, April 28th, we also have a, a, a kickboxing, sparring, uh, May 19th, and then uh, and of course June 8th, at Keys Art Pavilion, uh, John Low Cage Fighting Series number 10 is going down, big showdown, it's going to be over 20 fights on the card, but make sure you guys stay tuned, don't miss it out, uh, any last word you want to say to any friends and families out there? Uh, see you guys there, thank you. Come support. Come support. Alright, I'm John Low. Here we go, Jonathan Gonzalez. Good to have you on board, brother. Yeah. We'll see you guys out there June 8th, signing out.